Make sure you hold on tight. Papa, did you see that? That's my girl. My mother, father, and I are all borrowers. <sighs> Promise you won't let our daughter get eaten or squashed like a bug. An unlikely friendship forms and grows between two mismatched creatures, and it's all thanks to the innocence of childhood. Hello there to everyone watching, and thank you once again for tuning into the website realscreenreviews.com. I am, of course, film critic Nick Iacobucci, and our next movie review is The Secret World of Arietti. This animated drama and fantasy opened on Friday, February 17th, 2012, and it stars the voice talents of Will Arnett, Amy Poehler, Bridget Mendler, and the great Carol Burnett. This film comes to us from Japanese filmmaker Hiromasa Yoshibashi and the American filmmaker Gary Rydstrom, who combine their talents to give us one beautiful animated feature. This film tells of little people that live among suburban homes and gardens unbeknownst to the humans that live and dwell there. Though small in size, 14-year-old Arietti has a heart and spirit bigger than life, and it is all that her parents can do just to keep up with her. They have taught her the explicit rules of remaining hidden from human beings in the regular world, but after a young boy named Sean comes to live at the house, all that could be in jeopardy. Only because of accident or chance, Sean and Arietti meet and soon form a secret friendship that begins to grow with time. The problem with this bond between these two people is that if it is discovered, then the repercussions of their actions will drive Arietti's family away from their safe haven under the floorboards and right into a world of peril. Well, people, ever since I saw the trailer for this film a few months ago, I have been very much looking forward to seeing it, and my gut was right on because The Secret World of Arietti is a beautiful and captivating film of animation. This film is just plain lovely to view, and the pure and honest relationship between Sean and Arietti was just as lovely. They have almost an immediate connection, and the bond only becomes stronger as the tale progresses. They are two very different people from two very different worlds, but what they share is rarely captured on screen and it was enchanting to watch it happen. I loved this movie almost from the moment that it began and I felt the same way about the character of Arietti. You walk a fine line when you create a character that constantly challenges authority, but just like Disney's Mulan, she is very much perfectly balanced. She has so much life in this tiny body and you just love how adventurous and innocent she is. Sean shares just as much a connection with the audience and brings with him a very human revelation near the middle of the film. Then the legendary Carol Burnett also shows up lending her voice talents to bring to life the villain of the feature's third act, and other quality supporting work also come from Will Arnett and Amy Poehler. Some of the best aspects of Arietti lie in the attention to detail. Now, the use of nails, hooks, and double-sided tape was very cool in what I would describe as Mission Impossible fun, and the way the little people maneuver through the house is quite enjoyable as they borrow. That's what borrowers do. They only take what is needed and nothing else. They are a very proud race, and that shows throughout the entire feature. What stood out more than anything else was when Arietti and her father discover a dollhouse. They don't take or use anything from the dollhouse because these objects are made for toys and dolls and they are living creatures that are much better than that. The only issue that I have with The Secret World of Arietti isn't really a technical problem with the film at all. Just to say that this film is for seven or eight year olds and not for three year olds. Now this is definitely a family film, but it is a dramatic family film like E.T. and nowhere near the likes of The Lion King or Beauty and the Beast. Now don't get me wrong, I love those films, but the very young were irritated with this feature by the midpoint of the film, and I attribute that to the fact that it isn't filled with singing and dancing tigers or tea kettles. What it did have was a wonderful and inventive way of MacGyvering everyday items into an adventurous aspect of the story, and pretty much everything about Arietti is just a little more mature than the age of toddler. At 1 hour and 35 minutes, the secret world of Arietti was sweet and creative, fascinating and thoughtful, and imaginative and fun. This is the best animated film that I have seen since How to Train Your Dragon, and to top it all off, this has a heartfelt and human ending. It is a real drama that tells a real story, and I couldn't have been more pleased to have been a part of it. I really wouldn't be surprised if this movie showed up on my 10 best list at the end of the year. Nick's Real Screen Review is a perfect four stars out of four for the wonderfully original breath of fresh air known as The Secret World of 
of Arietti. And remember, people, I'm not always right, but only when it comes to the movies. And thank you for your attention. Thank you. We are borrowers, and as long as we have each other to live for, we'll keep on living. Arietti, I'll never forget you.